we see our nitrogen reduce pretty significantly after those coffee grounds were added. What that ends up leading to is what we would term a nitrate depression. In today's segment of Does It Work? We're gonna be looking at the use of coffee grounds as an addition to our raised gardens. We're gonna use one scoop of these coffee grounds and apply it to one of our simulated raised beds. All right, so the results are in. We see our nitrogen reduce pretty significantly after those coffee grounds were added. What that ends up leading to is what we would term a nitrate depression. Now through time, I would expect that that nitrogen would come back. But this would explain why if you added only coffee grounds at seeding to say your lettuce you might see a reduction in your germination rate of those lettuce plants that's because some of that nitrates being tied up by those microorganisms initially at the same time that your lettuce seedlings need them Oregon State University saw the same thing now if we were to run this study out farther what we would see is that that nitrogen that was initially immobilized would be mineralized it would be made available again as ammonium and then nitrate so what does that tell me from a gardening perspective? I probably don't wanna add just coffee grounds right at seeding. If I'm adding those coffee grounds, knowing that it's gonna to lead to that initial nitrate depression, I just need to supplement with a readily available nitrogen source just to supplement at that point in time before that mineralization occurs later during your growing season.